I'm, I am. Okay. So, let me keep this from wiggling. Keep in mind, the other fourth grade classes are going to see this. So, make sure you're not talking. Okay, listen up. So, we are actually going to be making two cans. So, listen. We're going to start by drawing his eye. So, in this kind of top. Can you sit down for me? No, no, no. You're going to face that way. You need your paper to go long and tall. In kind of this like top middle-ish corner, I'm going to draw, kind of keep in mind how big I make things in um, proportion to my paper. So if you make something way bigger than me, then your whole picture is going to have to be way bigger and you're not going to have room for your whole toucan. So what I did guys is I drew a circle and then I drew a smaller circle in the top right for my little highlight and colored it in. You're gonna wait to color it in until you get your Sharpie, okay? I just wanna color it in so you can see it. I almost wanna zoom in. Okay, then for the rest of his eye, we're gonna make almost like a football shape. So over his eye, I'm gonna make a curved line. Remember guys, draw very, very lightly in case you need to erase. Super, 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 super light. Then we're gonna make a similar line that goes right underneath and connects to that line above. Now we're gonna start on his beak. So what you need is you need a curved line that comes in front of his face. So I like to kind of draw it with my finger first so I kind of get an idea of exactly where I want it. Just like that. Comes right in front of his eye. Make sure you're leaving enough space between his eye and the curve. Then below that curve, I'm gonna make another one that's a little bit shorter. And you can see I've kind of left a point in the middle, just a little bit. Next, we're gonna make that really long shape of his beak. So you can see I'm gonna kind of draw it with my finger a couple times. So from the top of that top curve, I'm gonna come all the way down for his beak. Then from that bottom part of that bottom curve, I'm going to come down and connect them. From that little point where my two curves connect, I'm going to start a line right there and have it go all the way down to the tip of the beak. Then we're going to make a little curved section at the tip of his beak. All right, now back towards the front of his beak, I'm going to make two lines that just go parallel to these two curved lines that we've already made. All right, now we're gonna make his head. So we want his head to come up and over his eyeball, but we don't want it to be too close to his eye. I've seen a couple people make it too close to the eye and it looks like his head is super skinny. And for a toucan, their heads actually have to be pretty big to be able to hold up this huge beak, right? So just kind of keep that in mind. You're gonna start where your beak ends and you're gonna make a curved line that comes up 
and over like that. Then from that curved line, you're just going to kind of make it go off the edge of the page. Maybe yours is going to, you just kind of have to do whatever that natural curve does. So if yours is a little bit closer to the edge of the page, it might go off the page sooner. If your head is a little bit further away, it might not come off the page till further down here, right? So just kind of keep that in mind. Do whatever looks natural for your toucan. Then under his beak on this side, I'll give you a second. Don't worry, it's going to stay up. Even if you're behind, it'll stay up there. Under his beak on this side, I'm going to make just the tiniest little curve that goes in and out like that. Then we want to make his body that comes down and off the edge of the paper. So I'm going to start where that curve I just drew, drew was and then make it come down and off the edge of the paper. Okay, so Here's the top of his beak. I'm going to start a little bit below that, but I'm going to start where his, where his edge of his beak is. And I'm going to come up over his eyeball, around his eyeball, and then down onto his chest. That space will be white. It's kind of like his little like white on his chest, right? Then at that same little point where the two curves of our beak are, we're going to start there and I'm going to make a line that curves and goes under his eyeball and touches that line we just made. Okay. Almost done, guys. Okay, now we need to make his wing. For his wing, you're gonna make kind of a curved shape. I even like to give it a little bit extra of a little bump right there and then come back down for his wing. Or you can make it, if you want, you can just make it a little more pointed. Either one works, right? Then about halfway up his wing, I'm going to make a jumping line. And you know there's two ways to make jumping lines. You can make them so they look like bumps, or you can make them so they look kind of like waves. We want to make them look like they are waves in the ocean, about halfway up his wing. And then above that, I'm going to draw another one. And I'm just going to draw as many as I can fit in there until I get to the top of his wing. Alrighty. Then I'm going to draw straight lines that come down from there for the bottom part of his wing. Okay, 
So now what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to show you a couple different ways that you can do your background. So sit for a second and watch how I do them before you decide, because I'll show you both. You can make kind of longer um, leaves where you start with a curved line and then you come back down. So just kind of watch what I do here before you decide. And then what you're going to do is make little tiny skinny leaves that get longer as they go down. So you can see these are long skinny leaves, but they're kind of getting tucked behind his beak a little bit. Okay, so you can make that kind of leaf, and if you want, you can even make another one that kind of goes off the edge. You can make them kind of overlap each other, right? Okay, so you can do something like this, or if you want, and you wanna add more like branches and flowers, you can do that as well. So first I like to start with my branches, and I like to kind of just make them go everywhere. And then you can add different kinds of leaves where They kind of look more like this. And you can make different kinds of flowers. So maybe I'll make kind of kooky, like rainforest, weird looking flowers since. Maybe I'll make another one coming up out here. I can make more leaves coming out. So there's a couple different options of what you can make in your background. It looks a little bit busy right now, but when we paint, it'll look way different, right? So our, there's a couple different ways you can do this, okay? So one of them is more like leaves and flowers. The other ones are these longer leaves. Okay, so you get to pick how you want to do this. Once you have finished drawing your background, you can see in both pictures my background is pretty well full, right? Okay, and I did this pretty quickly. You guys are going to take your time, right? Um, so once you've drawn everything in pencil, remember to draw lightly. Once you've drawn everything in pencil, you're going to go over everything with Sharpie except one thing. One thing you're gonna go over with oil pastel, with a white oil pastel. Mine is already Sharpie, so you guys could see it on the video, but when you do this, go over everything but your wing with a Sharpie. Your wing you're gonna go over with a white oil pastel, and I'll show you why. So you're just gonna cover up those lines with that white oil pastel, and it's because when we paint, our um, toucan is going to be black, this part of his body, and we want to be able to see his wing. So we're gonna draw this part just over the lines. Don't try to fill in his wing. You're gonna draw just over the lines with the white oil pastel. So that way, when we paint it, his wing still shows up, right? Make sense? So don't forget that when you're going over with your Sharpie, okay? I will leave those up there.